Mr. Childs, Board of Regents, honored guests, faculty, families, friends, and the graduating class of 2019. Thank you for this opportunity to speak in front of such a large crowd. On May 8th, in the endless waves of AP testing, I told my friends on Reality Brown that I would feel more comfortable reading my English essay out loud at this ceremony than delivering a speech to appropriately conclude our four years of high school. The good news is that I decided against this um, English essay for the day. <laughs> As I look back at my years at Odell, I see that I was prepared for this through the many instances when I stepped out of my comfort zone and realized, wow, this is actually pretty awesome. Like when I was pulling weeds in heavy rain at the living lab on a Saturday morning instead of slipping until 12 o'clock. <laughs> or when I decided to join the school cross-country team to overcome my fear of long-distance running. <laughs> <laughs> or when I look into the, the eyes of the person who filled my plate at lunch with utmost earnestness, hoping that she would just give me one more scoop of mashed potatoes. <laughs> just one more. Throughout our four years in high school, Odell provided countless amazing opportunities for us, such as the science trip to the Galapagos Islands, the amazing school drama performance that go beyond description of words, and the Living Lab certificate program that connects us with the planet Villafon. One of the programs that have impacted me the most is our junior to senior year honor win project. In the community store of Love Never Fails, an anti-human trafficking organization I volunteered at, we help people in need to find clothing that provide them with warmth and comfort. We supply little kids with their favorite toys and books, and we talk to them on a daily basis, despite the fact that most of our customers don't speak fluent English. We want them to know that we care for them and we understand the hardship they're going through. If not for our service learning projects at Odell, I would never have had the opportunity to know about the many instances of social injustice in our community that need to be addressed. This and many other inspirational projects have encouraged me and my fellow classmates to try something new to step out of our comfort zone, and by doing so, to gradually become a more well-rounded and confident version of ourselves. As we look forward to a new chapter of our lives, let's not forget to look back at those who have been there for us throughout this journey. Parents, thank you so much for bringing us into this world loving us unconditionally, and entrusting us with your cars, sometimes um, even your house, which unfortunately might not have been the wisest choice. <laughs> Personally, I want to say a special thank you to my parents, brother and sister-in-law, without whom I would not become who I am today. Let's give a round of applause for our parents and families. for seeing the highest potential in each of us, for telling us that being lost is okay, not knowing where to go is okay, letting out our emotions is okay, trying new things and looking like an idiot is okay, <laughs> and most importantly, being ourselves is okay. As world-class science teacher Dr. Thomas Kosick once said, <laughs> you're all my favorite students. I think today is the day to settle the dispute. Um, so, who is your favorite student, Dr. Kosick? <laughs> Mr. Chifu, thank you for letting us know that 
Shooting for a 7, a 10, even a 300, we not always land to the 5. Thank you, Ms. Perel, for always gently asking us to come back from our short relaxation the minute we actually start to relax our thoughts. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Kunrod, for delighting us with your unbelievably wide range of talents, art therapy, textbook writing, firefighting, coming up with new raccoon drawings every two weeks, and on top of all that, teaching chemistry. I also want to use this special chance to thank my counselor, Ms. Lau, who patiently guided me from a clueless freshman girl to me today. Still clueless, but more confident. <laughs> it is under the guidance of amazing teachers and faculty at Odell that we have become both academically and mentally prepared for challenges along the way that imparted to us problem-solving skills, resilience, the ability to connect and collaborate with others, and most importantly, a more comprehensive understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Now, let's give a round of applause for our teachers, counselors, administrators, and staff. Adults. Many of us have found our true passions at Odell. The class of 2019 is a class with knowledge at hand and dreams for the future. I'm forever grateful to have had the opportunity to know my classmates, both their characters and passions. We all know that Xavier and Sophie will stun the world with their acting skills. Austin, Tyler, Anthony, Bella, Lizzie, Nicole, and many more will become the most hardworking and charitable athletes of our generation. Holland will be saving lives in the emergency room. Ruby will be researching child development. Geneva will be in the courtroom as an attorney. Zoe will become a world-renowned chemist. Samantha will probably end up as president of the United States. I think so. Holly, Brooke, Aisha will continue to um, inspire others through their amazing artworks. Peter will be a quantum physicist one day to decipher the mystery of our universe. Ellie will continue to brighten everyone's day with the most amazing hugs. And Nathan will continue to keep people laughing with the best jokes. Their future activists and artists, teachers and technicians, investors and inventors, engineers and entrepreneurs, poets and politicians, sitting in the audience who don't even know they will become any one of those things yet. Sometimes I think about my friends and my classmates, and then back at myself, wondering, Pearl, what do you want to do? The answer has always been, I don't know. Even after the deeply exhausting and self-reflecting college application process, I still don't know. I see my passions for a wide range of subjects. Literature, music, physics, mathematics, photography, computer science, social activism. There are simply so many opportunities to explore and landing on any one of them comes with sacrifice of others. Now writing a new chapter of my life, I see myself standing on a maze, and the only direction to go is unknown. I know this won't be a straight path. Charles Dickens famously opened his book, A Tale of Two Cities, with the line, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Our generation has come to a phase where it is the most confusing, confounding, and confrontational of times. We're at the point on the swing we're both, where we're both scared of going higher, but can no longer safely land. There is an urgent call for change on every aspect of our ways of living, environmentally, socioeconomically, and politically. We feel powerless as young adults, yet empowered as future leaders. We're fearful of a world with so many existing problems, 
yet unafraid to finally paint our colors on the canvas, to shift trends, and to have our voices heard. It is time for something new, for discomfort, for giving a speech in front of 3,000 people. It is time to both listen more respectfully and speak more candidly. Like many of us, I still don't know who I am or who I will be. But reaching out, taking one step after another out of our comfort zone, we will carve our way into the future. Thank you.